Hello everybody, this is Bazker back again with another Tavern Brawl video in Hearthstone, and this week we have something completely different. Um, I've played it a couple times already. Um, I kind of thought it was fun at first, but the second game was a little more boring. We'll see how I feel after the third game here. But um, it's very different. It's called Storming Stormwind. Lay siege to Stormwind. The city starts with one health and goes up as you hit it. How much damage can you do? Um, so... I have a feeling this has um, some hints in it uh, for the new expansion pack, and maybe it's something like we're going to be seeing. Um, I, I don't know. Um, it's not really a raid per se, but I guess it could be considered a raid. I don't know. Use your own judgment. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm going to be using a uh, warrior deck. Um, Usually I would use this to complete out quests, and I do have a couple of quests that this will work with, but it's not a class quest that I have. But um, I found that a charge deck seems to work the best with this. Um, I tried a Cthulhu Druid the first time, and that just really didn't work out at all. Um, as near as I can tell, there's no way to lose this brawl either. You're always going to win. So it's a free pack of cards, if nothing else. Um, you just try to get as much damage against the castle as you possibly can. And we're just going to take a quick look here at the cards. Warrior, like I said, I'm taking a lot of um, charge cards and damage boosting cards. Um, a couple of defensive cards, uh, but I find that attacking the minions put out on the board is not necessarily the best way to go unless it's just to survive a little longer. Um, you really just want to go face, so probably something like a you know a face hunter would work really well too. Um, I may actually edit this up in a future one. I'm going to play it one more time like it is. Um, not a Ragnaros and this Ysera is probably one. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of Ysera and I'm going to put in an ooze, um, and I'll show you why in a few. Um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Warsong Commander and add another ooze. So, uh, we got two oozes, one less Warsong Commander, and no Ysera. Um, never even had a chance to play the Ysera, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but as you can see, there's no matchmaking. You're not playing against another player, you're playing against the environment. Behold the might of Stormwind! And so, goes nothing really different than you're used to seeing right here. Two, three, four. I'm just gonna go with that. Um, three, all charges. And you may say, well, that's a crappy starting hand, but not really for this. So here's why I took the oozes. As you can see, there's an armory. In attack increases over time. So he never attacks with it as near as I can tell. But as he gains up points, he also has his hero power, power barracks, which play a random Stormwind soldier. And almost all the soldiers, maybe all of them, um, actually have a battle cry that does something with the amount of um, damage that the armory has. You can destroy this as a weapon, but as near as I can tell, at the end of every um, turn of uh, Stormwind here, they get the weapon back without even playing a card, even though it says it's got a one cost on it. I haven't actually seen them play an actual card associated with it. They just get it back. Um, so you can destroy it. So my goal would be is to let it build up just a little bit before I destroy it, and then that will help things out. And as you can see, you do indeed still have a timer, even though you're playing against an environment. So I just went and killed it off. wasn't really a whole lot else I could do with it anyways. And I'm going to armor up, because it's not really worth killing off the uh, armor yet. And I'm just going to play out and kill off this taunt. Usually by now I've actually got quite a bit of damage against him, so I'm apparently not doing so hot this game. But they tend to take out the minions more so than um, hit and face until they get to the point where you know it's like an obvious win condition, and then they'll kind of start hit and face. But prior to that, they're not really doing it. Um, so I think that um, it's 
good to just go face as much as possible. Don't worry too much about their minions. And um, here I can either armor up and fiery war axe, um, or I could go with the elite. I think I'm gonna do that. And you know, in a normal game, you'd probably want to attack this guy and get rid of him, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Chances are he'll hit me. He'll hit the minion anyways. Now, as you can see, his hit points went up. The goal of this is just to make as much damage against the castle as you possibly can. That's interesting. He's The AI has been attacking my minions instead of my face, but we will see how this goes. Um, three and four, five. Go ahead and get rid of that. Might not be the bad way to handle this. We'll do that. That's 11 points of damage. Um, uh, I think I will kill off this one. And I am going to kill off one of these. I haven't exactly figured out the best method to play this yet, but some combination of what we're seeing right now is the way to go. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, now you see he just got his weapon back and he didn't play a card to do it and he was out of mana, so it doesn't cost him anything to get his uh, uh, weapon back. But as you can see, he didn't have it for the previous turn, so this guy just remained a 1-1 instead of gaining attack and health. So, that's good. Um... Uh, with the last game I played with this warrior deck, I got um, 46 damage, I think, against him. And I don't think he has the exact same cards every time through, either. Um, it certainly appears to be um, a random deck, but it could just be that I'm not seeing all of his cards enough to actually know, because the game doesn't tend to go on that long. So I think this is going to be the best thing here. We'll kill this taunt off. We're going to kill this guy off while we still have the divine shield. You stole that from me. So we got eight. We could r pull out the rocketeer kill this off immediately um, or we could pull out this elite and the weaponsmith and then double team this I think that's probably the way to go and, oops. the best thing to do would probably be to leave the elite alive in this process because it's got one more health With any luck, we'll be able to do some damage next turn, but it'll probably be a taunt. Nope, it is not. Oh. So forget what I said about doing damage. <laughs> um. So I've got a couple choices. Rocketeer and um, infantry. Um, that's uh, effectively four more health for us. Um, a Alternately, I could go Rocketeer and Armor up and get two health, um, but we save a minion back that way. Um, definitely going to play Rocketeer. I'm certainly not going to face plant this guy. I think just from a mana efficiency standpoint, we'll go this route. And I am going to go ahead and face planting with the weapon because I don't plan on hitting a minion at this point in the game with my weapon. Um, an exception would have been it was one of the zero uh, attack taunts that he has. But okay, that was just strange. The only thing that really affects is our um, 
commander wouldn't be able to buff that up. So we're most likely going to lose at this point. Um, once, and I use the term lose very loosely because um, as soon as I can tell you always win. So I mean about the only thing you can do is just go ahead and place, um, hit face for 12 points in the turn and we should seem just face plant us with the 9-9 I would expect. Let's see we're always immune to it so we don't lose. Why I don't know. Um, but you get 25 damage here, turns 10, minions killed 11. Uh, you know from a scoring standpoint I don't know what that really means for us. Just off a quest there. But that's about it. I think with a brawl like this, it would have been really nice for him to include the additional stats here, you know, saying how much damage you actually did against the uh, Stormwind, because right now all we know is we won. Um, I think it'd also be nice if they put a loss down here, too. How many times did you play? How many times did you lose? But it's just me. So anyways, um, that's the brawl for this week. Um, it's not too bad. Um, it's kind of fun. I don't know that it has a whole lot of longevity to it for me. Um, it might for you if you like playing PvE type stuff, then this is probably going to be right up your alley. Uh, but it does give you some uh, freedom to really play with some interesting decks, I would expect. Um, some good taunt decks, good charge decks. Um, probably Cthulhu would be really, really good against this as well if you can manage to get your Cthulhu cards out there early on and stay alive at the same time because as you can see his minions uh, gain power pretty quickly and it just depends on whether or not that AI is going to decide to hit face or not and like I said the first game and the second game he was hitting uh, my minions all the time. Uh, this game he went face a lot so hard to say but um, that's it. Um, check it out still worth a free pack of cards and I guess before we go here I went ahead and saved my pack so that we could show it on stream people seem to like to do that I'll we'll take a look and see what we got here and just a junk pack quite certain I have all those in triplicate probably at some point so anyways there you go there's the tavern bowl like comment subscribe feel free to share the video and I'll catch you back next time